Hello and welcome uh, to another edition of Our Plays Orbium. Uh, if you haven't joined us before, uh, I play through the Orbium campaigns, which are based in the Imperial Era, which is a user-made mod for Battle for Wesnoth, the free open source uh, turn-based strategy game, uh, which if you've never played, or even if you have played but it's been a while, I heartily recommend. Um, so I'm currently the maintainer of this campaign, which is called Fall of Sylvium. Uh, we'll be playing as the Lavinian Legion and hopefully having a lot of fun doing it. Uh, this is the second attempt at this video, um, as in the first one, uh, the video just stopped recording partway through. Uh, I did win, which is a nice change for me, uh, particularly since we're playing on hard difficulty mode, and that's generally higher than I like to play this campaign. Um, but uh, yeah, the recording failed, so we're going to have to do this again. I know that sounds like an evil lie, but it, it's not. I really did. Um, I did actually win, um, but I have to go again. So we're going to play through the first level today, uh, and then we'll play through some of the other ones once I finish writing them later on. Um, but first up, we're going to pick the basic version of the campaign um, without all the extra talking, since we never have time to go through the talking when we're running these videos anyway. Um, but if you're interested in the lore of the world of Orbium uh, and the Lavinian Legion, I recommend that you download this... Um, Add-on this add-on from the add-on server when I add it in about a month's time. Okay, so we are Caius Regilius, uh, Tribune of the Province of Sylvia. We've just come back from our five-year report uh, to the Lavinian Imperator, and uh, he has instructed us to return to our province um, and to defend it at all costs. Um, I am Caius, your Caius Regilius. You, me, we. Archaeus Regilius, the Tribune of the Province. Uh, tribunes are not good fighting units, um, but they do have leadership, which is a great bonus. Appius Service is a signifer. Their job is to inspire surrounding units. Um, uh, so basically, it makes Lividian units treat it nighttime like dawn and dawn like daytime, which, um, since they're lawful units, is a significant bonus of 25% uh, more damage. Septus Triptus is a Probugnator. His job is to hit stuff. And Jagurthus Messianus here is a um, cavalry unit, his job is to go fast. Currently, we're just planning to head to this fort so we can have a bit of a nap before we head on to Sylvia tomorrow. So we're just going da 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 da, all very peaceful and nice. What a lovely walk in the park we are having. Hello, anyone home? Yes, it's Septimus Antonius, the Decurion. They're a leader type unit in the Legion. Oh no, we've been attacked by Marauders. That's unfortunate since we don't have a whole lot of money with us. We're going to have to be a little bit careful with how we do this. So they're going to attack us and we're going to attempt to hold this fort against them. Uh, we have 15 turns. Uh, you can't see that because of my beautiful face. Um, but we have 15 turns to defeat the fort, uh, to defend the fort, uh, kill all enemy units, or escape to Sylvia up here. So that's what we're going to do. 15 turns is not long, considering we're four turns in already. Um, but we'll do what we can. The enemy have a crusher, which is a berserker type unit, just keeps attacking until it or its opponent dies. Some axemen who are ranged units um, with their bows also have axes for close combat. Um, warriors, which are the main melee unit of the Marauders, um, but also have a fire attack, which is very effective against Lavinians, uh, and Scouts, which are their quick moving units, as you might imagine, with a name like Scout. See if we can bait some of them there with Jugurthus while we wait. Nope, not interested. They're a bit scared of him, I guess. Fair enough, he's a scary guy. Alright. So, yep, we've got to escape here or defend, defeat all enemy units. Except the leader, you're not allowed to defeat the leader in this level, it's just not allowed. Okay, so we can recruit guys, we've only got 68 gold with which to do it though. So what we're going to do is get a legionary, um, which are the main melee units of the faction, the Lavinian faction. We're going to leave off the cavalry and the bowmen for now, and we're going to get an auxiliary and a legionary. Okay. Um, it's not so much that the cavalry and that aren't useful, but um, we want to get maximum bonus out of holding a fort, and cavalry aren't going to get a bonus for that. Um, and we're also a little bit short on cash, so 
and do what we can. Here they come! So we're going to use the superior terrain of the fort um, to hopefully deal a lot more damage than we take. Um, if you're not familiar with how the system for West North attack and defense works, basically each terrain that your, your uh, unit is standing in gets a certain level of de oh that is that is painful um, gets a certain level of attack or defense. So these auxiliary units have 40% here on the plains, 60% in the in the uh, in the castle. 20% in the water, 50% in the trees, 50% in the hills, whereas the legion type units get 50% in the hills, 60% in the forest, but 50% on the plains, 20% in the water, 30% in the trees. So we're going to try and keep the plains um, and the castle itself, not we're going to try and keep our opponents out of it, uh, and uh, see how we go. Um, the Lavinians have that, that very high defense on the plains, which is quite unusual. It's a bit of sort of the feature of the Lavinian, um, Lavinian units. Okay, um, the legionaries also have this wonderful... Oh, I'm just going to show you the wonderful attack they have, but of course these guys have just been recruited, so they don't have any attack right now. Alright, let's give it a try. With the dramatic music in the background. Yes, they have that pile of attack, which is a, um, a ranged attack which slows the enemy if it hits them, and they also have that shield. So they have a single hit melee attack when attacked, which means that they um, they hit once for massive damage if they hit, which is, if that guy's hit twice, that's great. Um, that's the real advantage of the legionaries of those attacks. They're probably actually a little bit too strong for a level 1 unit, a lot too strong for a level 1 unit, um, but there is the Imperial Era is generally stronger than the main line, where's not the errors. Um, we're working on that, but at the moment they're quite powerful and we're going to abuse the heck out of that feature to keep ourselves alive in this level. And so what we want to try and do is hold this fort as best as we possibly can given the situation. We also want to preserve Caius Regilius, if he dies we lose. Um, and our four loyal units, um, Septus, Septimus, Appius, and Jugurthus, um, because they are automatically recruited at the beginning of each level, um, which is a great benefit to us because um, we're going to be cash strapped this campaign. It's going to be really handy to get those free units. Not him, he's a little bit injured, so we'll keep him safe as much as we can. Use Jugurthus has a charge attack, which means it does double damage on attack, um, but the enemy attacks also do double damage to him, so be a little bit careful with how you use that. Alright, this is going pretty well so far. Shall we use Appius to go after this guy? Why not? It's best to get crushers out of the way before they destroy you because they're unpredictable fellows. And since Appius is a level 2 unit, he didn't have any trouble cleaning that guy up. Alright, wait and see what happens. Ah, that is Appius's great disadvantage. He has no ranged attack, so those archers can really make mincemeat of him. And so they're going to Axeman straight after, it, after the guy with the sword. Come on. Hit guys. That's better. Looks like Appius is going to need to go get a bit of a break. There's no villages on this map um, for healing, so you just need to be really, um, really careful about placement and, and using your zone of control, um, which we did talk about in the tutorial. We did talk about when we played Epic of Vanier last year. Um, but if you're not familiar with zone of control, basically every unit um, controls the areas around them so enemy units cannot move through it so you see this guy if he moves to this position next to here he has to stop because this legionary is in the way so he can only move away and around this way rather than straight past this legionary uh, the only unit on the board here that doesn't have a zone of control is this auxiliary because uh, he's a level zero unit and they don't have Zoc. okay um, now that it's no longer 
night time. Appius has done his job, so we'll retreat him back a little bit. Come on, Septus. No, that was that was that was pretty poor, mate. Oh, oh dear. Oh, oh, oh dear. This is this is not good. This could have gone better, is all I'm trying to say here. We got a pretty high chance this guy's going to get beat up on. Septus is looking quite injured as well, so um, that could be that could be bad news. If these guys die, there's a high chance Caius will die as well. And if Caius dies, we lose. So see if we get lucky or not. But if we don't, we're in trouble. Which is I'd like to be able to show you that I can win using my skills rather than luck. Um, that said, I mean 60% defense is pretty solid. You can see he's he did all right. They're going after Septus, and they hit him, but not killed. So oh, he's down. Okay, so the game, the level is still playable without a with the loss of a loyal unit, but we've now completely lost that castle. Um, and Septus is going to take some damage. Too much damage. He's trapped now. He's been zocked. Um, so we we have lost. Uh, we have lost this level because um, we can't we can't get him out there without basically suiciding all our guys, which we're going to do um, just for the sake of it. See if we can get Septus to the exit uh, of the level. Yeah, not liking our chances though. And we're going to lose a bunch of guys in the process. And that's fine. That's how hard level goes campaigns go. Be sad to lose Trip uh, Septus um, because he's such a useful guy to have around, but that's that's fine. That legionary, for example, was doing very well. No, that one, that one, less good. Run, Caius, run! Alright. See how we go here? Whether we can escape with our lives. It's not looking good for Septimus, let me tell you that. There he goes. Septimus Antonius down, so we've. Oh, and a level 2 pillager for the enemy. This is really not looking like a level that we're going to want to win, even if we manage to pull it off. There goes our last experienced guy. Just Appius and Jugurthus to go. It's going to make it very hard to cover them. Good work, Jugurthus. Make a run for it. Okay, Appius is pretty much stuffed. Yep, we're just going to take that guy out. See if we can defend Jug uh, Caius all the way to the flagpole. Oh, here he goes, he's down. And there goes Jugurthus. So can Caius make it to the post? I think so, we killed all the scouts. So Yes, looking good. Alright, so we have actually won this level because there we go. We've made it to Sylvian, successfully won the level, however at such a devastating cost. Um, I honestly don't think that we can actually um, win the campaign from this point. You can afford to lose maybe one of your veterans on the first level, 
um, losing all of those. Uh, I'll give it a quick try now, uh, off video, see if we can pull it off, but uh, not liking it. So we're probably going to be um, back next week to have another try at level 1. Thank you for watching at Our Plays Orbium. I know it's been a little bit unsuccessful, but I really do appreciate um, you spending the time. Uh, and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Just kidding. It's okay. I won't make you wait all week. Um, so I've just reloaded um, from turn 5 uh, of the level we were just playing. Uh, and I'm going to have a second attempt at trying to finish hard difficulty mode. Uh, this time I'm not going to be so stupid. And you never know, we might even get a little bit luckier as well. I feel like we got a little bit gypped that last time with a couple of lucky shots in here, which meant we seeded the castle to the enemy, which we don't want to do. Looks good. See if we can bait that guy. Okay. Give it another try. So the Marauders, um, they have a little bit more variety in their unit line, um, but uh, since this campaign is quite old, um, they don't have their full unit line in this campaign, um, which is probably just as well, because uh, if we gave them the, uh, the units they have with magical attacks, uh, which have a uh, surefire percentage against uh, to hit, uh, we will be in trouble. Uh, because we really need every little bit of the defense that this fort is going to give us. So thankfully, um, they're out and we're just fighting these general guys. And it also looks like their recruit pattern here is sort of favoring scouts and axemen, which is, which is, which is good for us. The, more, the less warriors and crushers they have, um, the better off we're going to be trying to hold this, this, um, hold this position. So leaving Kai's here to give leadership to these guys. Appius here to provide daytime, um, what do you call that, inspiration? Do a little bit of damage there, that's great. Okay, Septus can hold the bridge. These guys are there. Jagurthus, maybe push back a little bit, mate. Maybe one more. There we go. We don't want him to be better since he's a... Uh, doesn't have great defense, we don't want it to be able to be attacked by too many units. Alright, let's see how we go in the first, that first night turn, this is the real critical turn here. If we can kill off a couple of these guys, or at least, you know, get some real damage in there, we'll be very pleased with how this goes. Oh, Appius is going to take a lot of damage here, uh, but he took a lot of damage last time and he lived, so as long as he... oh dear. That's going to make it very difficult to fight through the night time. Um, I... Wow. This is going worse than this level normally goes. Like, I've played this level quite a few times um, in my years of playing Fall of Sylvia, uh, and that was pretty unfortunate to lose to lose a guy in a castle with 60% defense that easily. Um, especially since there's a level 2 unit, we're really going to miss Abyss, but... The show must go on, I suppose. Um, oh, this night time is going to be really painful without... Really painful without that extra bonus of... Um, of Appius to get us through it. And that's what happens. Get going. So, we're looking a little bit light on here because we're down a guy, but that's fine. Do the usual thing, drop Jugurthus down here in case we need him to ford the river. And wait for daybreak. See if we can get there. Um, yeah, yeah, that's, that's pretty unfortunate. You would expect in that first wave of guys that you'd be pretty unlucky to lose a level 2 unit like that. Appius is the most fragile of them all, but still... Um, Hey, the enemy had a crusher in a good spot. There's not much you can do about that. Crushers are annoying fellows. Um, that's why I was really pretty thankful that we weren't seeing a whole heap of them against us in this level. But he recruited enough. Well done, Adwolf. Adwolf's the name of the bad guy. Okay. So we could kill that guy with this legendary. We could also probably kill that guy. And he's got more HP, so it's worth taking him out. Um... Use this guy to take out 
button to think about taking out that guy. Oh, Septus, beautiful, my boy. Okay. Boof. Boof. Yes. Good work. Not worth trying to get over there and kill those guys off. They'll kill themselves off quick enough. We'll, we'll just keep holding this position, I think. Oh, he's hitting those shield bashes today, aren't we? This is this is going really. S oh, look at this. You don't see that sort of thing that often. This um, hey, that guy's hit all his shots. That's really going to help us out. And he is looking a little bit damaged, but that's that's fine. We're seeing most of the mortars stay on this side of the river this time, um, rather than trying to ford as well, which means we've got somewhere to retreat our guys that are a little bit injured. Which is a definite positive. Um, I think the oxalum will do there. Good work. Hit, yes. Alright, this is going pretty well. These guys. These guys can go after the Jagurthus. Yeah, we don't want to let them get over the river, so we're just going to. Hold that like that, and wait and see what happens. So yes, playing Lavinians is generally a little bit slower because you want to hold that terrain that um, that is not normally in Wes North what is considered the good terrain. Like you're fine sitting on the plains, um, and you're pretty solid defensively. You're happy for them to come to you. You're more about sticking your guys together in formation, not letting any of them get out of position, which is probably good good form in, in general Wes North anyway. But um, can see this has worked in our favour because the enemy is so aggressive. We've been able to just go after them. All right, send a Gurfus up to deal with that crusher. Beautiful. Ha! Oh, what a shot! These shield bashes are working for us today, and not not normally anywhere near that good. Really enjoying those leadership bonuses we're getting there. So these guys can now get across the river um, because we moved Jagurthus out of the way. Um, there's not a whole lot we can do about that. So we're just going to wait and see what happens again. Um, we're, our only problem we're going to come across is that it, this is the last daytime turn. We're about to get to nighttime again and now we don't have Appius um, to look after us. And so if we can at all possibly. Uh, a little bit far away to get this guy leveled up. If we could get him leveled up, uh, we could get ourselves another signifer. As it is, I'm going to have to retreat him if I want to have any hope of letting him live. So you can see this is this is the ideal situation: letting Kai's just sit there, doing nothing. Um, um, except giving enormous leadership bonuses to my guys. It's just perfect. That's exactly what we want. And we just kill off these guys, and their aggressiveness will mean that they just keep coming at us. Bro. Excellent. Sit your girthus back down. Oh. Is that too far? Yeah. Don't want to let them have the mountains and also be able to go after us, so... Maybe we'll cross back over here. Give him a position of a bit of an attack, if he feels like it. See how we go. Yes. Yeah, they're coming after us. What's that crusher going to do? That's the determinant. They're going to run off. They're all scared. Excellent. Mm, not worth it. Oh, that's just unfortunate. Now I get a try. All right, we're going to be a little bit aggressive just to make sure we don't lose that guy. We want to try and preserve his experience points as much as we can. They're valuable, valuable things. OK, 
Let's see if this guy can get around us. So we're going to stick our auxiliary there so that they can't get around us. Kill that guy off. No, kill him off, kill him off, kill him off, yes. Okay. Sock. Bang. Alright, this is looking good. We should be able to finish this up now. And maybe even level this guy up. Actually, it's better not to level him up before the end of the level. We'll let him um, sit at high experience, but not all the way there, if we possibly can. And that will be even better for us. That'll do. That'll do. Kill, yes. Looking good, boys and girls. Didn't get that final kill there, though, so... Bring Kai's up here to get the leadership bonus we need to let the Gladius do the damage. Yes! Alright, so that was victory. We did lose Appius. Um which I know I'd said to you we really wanted to not lose one of our loyal units but on the plus side we got great experience into our other guys um, so Appius you will be missed um, your service is appreciated uh, thank you for watching guys we'll see you in level 2 directly and by directly I mean next week it really will be next week this time I'm not going to be coming straight back and recording the next one